Hey y'all, Andrew here from ASIC Basics again. And uh, we've all had that problem. I got my board, it doesn't see all my chips. This thing ain't working and I'm ready to just toss it out. Well, before you throw these boards out, there's a few steps you can walk through and come to a conclusion whether or not it's a simple fix or something maybe you're gonna send off or toss in the trash. But don't toss in the trash, I'll always take it. Andrew here with ASIC Basics. We're gonna go ahead and go through a quick uh, voltage check on our board when we first bring them up. So we wanna check our 12 volt power coming in. Another spot for the 12 volt power that's going into the 10 volt buck converter. Now we wanna check the output of the 10 volt buck converter. And that's basically what you've set your hash board at. So if you set it to run at 9.5, you set it to run at 10.1, which is bit main default, that's what you'll get. Obviously, we'll have this across both sides of the inductor. Now we want to measure is going to be the output from our 12.2 volt boost, 14.2 volt boost circuit. And there you go. Okay, so those we've got basic voltage check um, for board operation. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check the voltage on our LDOs. We can do that by going to pin two. Right here. Pin five is our output, we should be about 1.8. We do, on the input, we should get around 2.5, 2.4. We do. And we wanna do that across all of our LDOs down the chain. Go ahead and we'll check another one. Voltage in, 2.5, voltage out. Ah, there we have it. it. Looks like we have a blown LDL right here. Okay, now we get repaired, let's go ahead and check U76 again. See the coffee's wearing off. There we go, 1.8 volts, looks like we fixed it.